Hey everyone, Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. And I'm just making sure that I'm going live on the right spot. There we go. Welcome. So my name is Marianne Cowan. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Ottawa, Canada. And I typically go live Fridays at 3 o'clock. But during celebration, I'm going to try to go live just a little more often to showcase some of the amazing products that we have available during celebration. So today we are going to be working with I'm just finding it. One of the beautiful papers. <laughs> Obviously, they're all beautiful. From the catalog. Let me just grab the catalog. So, this is part of the suite at the beginning of the catalog called. Country Floral Lane. And you can see some of the beautiful samples that they have in the catalog. The catalog is a great resource for samples if you're stuck for card making ideas. And the paper that we are using is called Country Floral Lane. And here it is down here. And the card I made a little, uh, maybe last week, was this beautiful one using mint macaron, a bon, a balmy blue, I'm starting to speak in French, and it's a fun fold. And today we're going to make another one that is using the same color uh, palette but a different card. So these products are available to order now and the fun part about ordering in the next two months is that with every $60 purchase before tax and shipping you get to choose a free celebration item. And so my special for the owl, adorable owls, ends tonight and then tomorrow I'll be introducing something else. And when you place a qualifying order, I will send you the materials to make these three cards that are adorable. The little owl is just so cute. So I already have sent a few of them out in the mail. So if you're interested in getting this um, product, this card kit free, then you can place a qualifying order. I'm just going to make sure I'm live. It says I am. I think it's just frozen on my screen. Okay, we're good. And I'm just going to show you a little sneak peek of something else I'm going to be doing. I made this beautiful box and card, coordinating card. This is a free celebration paper. It is called Flavor, Flavored, Favored Floral, and it is absolutely beautiful. There's an orange palette, Clipso Coral, and then a purple palette as well. So this is a little box and a coordinating card, and I'll be showing this on an upcoming video. And if you're part of my team, we will be making this at our team get together on Saturday. Okay, so let's get started on this card. Keep these handy. So this is another fun fold, and I think it's called a gatefold card. I could be wrong about that. I never quite know all the names, but you start off with a piece of four and a quarter by 11. Turn it this way. And score it at four, uh, score it at five and a half. Those are pretty messy instructions. I'll post the instructions on my blog. And then you trim it down the fold line up until two and an eighth. So halfway between four and a quarter is two and an eighth. And then you cut that piece off. And so you end up with this cute little gatefold card. Well, let's start with the back and then we'll build 
up to the front. So I'm using Mint Macadam and I'll just get my stamp and seal. We'll see which kind of adhesive I end up using today. So we're just going to put that right in the middle. A lot of people have commented on the fact that they like this color combo and I'm not surprised. It's very pretty. So then I'm putting this piece here so we're going to be able to see that. Oh, That's pretty as well. It's not quite the right color though. I do believe that's Bermuda Bay. There we go. Now for the inside, I also have this little stitched rectangle and I want to make sure it's behind my front piece so I'm not going to put it on quite yet because I want to make sure when I close it up that it's covered. So let's just hang on to this and let's build up our front. So here's our front flap. I'm just going to move that out of the way. And again we're going to use the mint macadam. that layer it up and then again this is called dandy designs and it is a free celebration paper oh my gosh I've used it so much it's a level two there's that other paper I was showing you called favored flowers not favored florals and if you're doing winter stamp camp we're using this for two of the cards I just finished packaging all up the winter stamp camp I was waiting for some products to come from the new catalog. So this paper is called Dandy Designs. It's got a lot of colors that it coordinates with and it's just so, so pretty. And it's going to be so fun to use for spring, um, especially Easter. Oh my gosh, the color palette in it is really, really beautiful. So that's fun to use. So let's go ahead and add this piece. This is a great time to stock up if you need adhesives or um, envelopes because you get a free gift with purchase. All right, so here's our card so far. It's going to open like this. Now for the front, I have a piece from this um, the Floral Lane paper with those blue and green hearts. I like the blue and green because it's I don't know, it's just a little bit different. Typically everything's red. And this could be, it doesn't have to be a Valentine's card. It could just be a friendship card. Just a miss you card. It could be anything. Now this is going to go in the center. So I want to put adhesive, but only on the bottom. So I'll make sure I do it on. You could pop, pop this up with dimensionals, but I think I'll pop up the sentiment instead. So here we go, I'm centering this. Now I can go ahead and put this on and make sure that it's where I want it to be. I didn't want it showing out, hanging out over the edge. So I think as long as I'm down a little bit, it should be good. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our sentiment which is, I love that we are friends. So this is from the stamp set that I don't have over here right now, but it is a beautiful stamp set. That's gonna go here. And then I have the punch. So I'm deciding if I should do blue to match this, or if I should pull out the green. I don't know, just looking for comments. Which do you prefer? Blue, oh, you could do both, I don't wanna do both. Blue or green? I 
can't see the comments for some reason, so I think, I think I'm going to go with blue because we have green on the back, so let's keep blue on the front. This was another sentiment. It's from the gnome set. Wishing you the most magical of birthdays, which is totally cute. But I think I'll just use the friendship one now for now. Let's go ahead and put this on. All right, so we're going to pop that up. And then I did punch out. I stamped and punched some hearts from the stamp set. Oh, and I do have a bow. So let's build this up and we'll put some inside as well. I think a green one would be better because we've got a lot of blue going on there. I am going to pop this up with dimensionals, but I'm going to put them just in the middle so that I can tuck things in behind. Oh, hi, Sylvia. I can see comments. Oh, green shows up better. Oh, well. Oh, well, I went with blue. There we go. Of course, we need to wink of Stella all our hearts. I'm going to do that before I put it on because it's going to be a little bit underneath the label. I'll do them all while I have my pen out, although I don't think I'm using them all. You just can never have too much wink of Stella. Okay, I'm glad I can see the comments now. All right, so we've got that, we've got that. Let's put that and that. So we have to be careful we've got this popped up, so I'm going to put this one flat. When you're doing layers, you have to make sure that it works. So I can put this one um, a dimensional here and then a bit of glue here. And then this piece is the same height as this piece. So I'm remembering about my bow. I think I'll put it right there. This ribbon is actually pool party, but I find it kind of takes on the color that you put it with. So here it's kind of taking, we've got the balmy blue, but I think it's kind of picking up the mint macadam as well. So we'll put that like that. And then we need some little hearts. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive here and then a mini glue dot on this side. We'll see if that'll work. Yeah, that's good. And then on this side, hmm. Because there's so much blue, I feel like I need to put the green at the back and then you can build up the front with the blue ones. So let's put this one here. And I didn't do any blue little ones, so we're getting green on green. And again, putting adhesive on one side and a dimensional on the other. That one doesn't look like it has Wink of Stella, but I think it did. It's a bit more. Okay, so we've got that, that. Let's put a couple of these inside. And of course on the inside I don't like to pop them up. And we could put the leaves. Sometimes I like the leaves. I'm not going to put leaves on this one. I did stand, I did cut out or punch out some just regular colored hearts as well. I just don't think I want any on. All right, let's go back and look. I think I'm done. I'll leave that one there in case I change my mind, which has been known to happen. Those are big ones. Okay, 
So now we're going to use some of the new pastel adhesive backed sequins. They come on two sheets because they are in two different sizes. So I am going to go with the blue ones. I think I want to do a big one and a little one on each side. These are nice and flat so I can use them inside as well. The trick is don't push them down all the way right at the beginning and then look at it and see if it's if you like it and then if you do then squish them down. Maybe I'll put it here so that you can see it when you open the card. All right, let's try. That's nice because then when you open the card, you can see it on the inside as well. All right, one quick card for us today. Pretty sure someone can comment if they know for sure. I think it's called a gatefold. It doesn't really matter if it has a proper name, but it's pretty and it still gives you enough room to write your sentiment. You could even write here as well if you have a very long sentiment. So if you're thinking that you would like to order some products, don't forget tonight is the deadline for getting the little owl kit. And then tomorrow I'll be using a different stamp set and then it'll be a different kit that I'll have available for the next seven days, for the next week. Okay, thanks for joining me today. I do a, oh, there's a little blue one. We did have one. No, that's one too many. Thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll know when I go live. Thank you everyone, and you can check later on today for the measurements that go along with this card, and they will be on my blog, MarianneCowan.com. Thanks again, and have a great day.